I'm gonna start this video by saying that no one method of training is right. I've trained calisthenics where you can work on your body weight control, your coordination, your strength, your mobility, and your balance. I've trained weightlifting, which isolates muscles a lot better and focuses more on the actual muscle growth. And more often than not, doing weights does get you a little bit more bulky than you would want. And now I train with my hybrid method. What I will say is that how I train now is what allowed me to develop a lean muscular physique that I have today. And that is without sacrificing my life to the gym. But I'll explain to you my story so you can get a full understanding of how I got myself here. It sounds super cliche, but I genuinely was that skinny, introverted kid in school that got bullied. I would always look at the guys who were more athletic and more jacked than me and I just wished I had their confidence. I was way too insecure to go to a gym and work out, so I started my calisthenics journey with YouTube and a dream. After I would say around two months, I visibly started to see changes, but I soon realized that there was a limit to how big I can get just from home with no equipment. For instance, I definitely would need a pull-up bar to target my back more, so that was already one thing, I had to think about. I tried using resistance bands, which was the cheap option for a while, and even got a door frame pull-up bar eventually, but I fell quite a lot of the time and it wasn't exactly the safest thing to do. And don't even get me started about how many times the resistance bands would eventually snap after I got too strong, piled on about 10 resistance bands at a time, and yeah, you can understand that it would probably ping in, in my face. Let me know in the comments if that's ever happened to you. But essentially, doing everything from home is just not going to be able to get you to the highest level in your training. When you think about the advanced athletes that do calisthenics, they're going to have equipment. Some sponsors will send them over some equipment for free and also they'll usually train at a gym where they can learn more things from other people and at that gym, they're gonna have equipment. So whilst it's good to start training from home at the start, eventually you're going to need some level of equipment or you're just gonna stay in the same place you are now. Honestly, I kind of wish that I changed over to more weights at some point or at least integrated them a little bit earlier than I did because I feel like I wasted a lot of time that could have been used to actually develop all areas of my functionality in my body rather than just a couple areas within calisthenics. I couldn't exactly work on my weaknesses like I could with weights, because with weights, as I said, you're gonna isolate your muscles. And so I didn't really build the physique that I wanted, even though I got pretty strong, pretty functional from home, there was a lot missing. Eventually, I finally grew the confidence to go to the gym. And honestly, about a year went by and I was bigger than ever. The sad thing about all of that is that I thought bulking up and getting big would make me happy. But in reality, I developed more fat than ever. My mobility suffered so much. I couldn't even barely touch my toes. And also because of the food that I was eating when I was bulking up, I also developed quite bad acne that really ruined my self-confidence. Not to mention I was always out of breath because I wasn't actually doing any form of cardio. And that is when it hit me and I realized something. The fitness industry tells you to choose one. Running, weightlifting, calisthenics, HIIT training, you name it. But in reality, you don't have to pick one. You can combine multiple, which is what I did to come up with the hybrid method. The most optimal solution is to go with the hybrid method. But when I crossed over to the hybrid method, mixing weights and calisthenics, I developed my endurance, I improved my mobility, and I was able to not only isolate muscles, but also used compound movements to elevate my physique and my strength even more. I could look the way that I wanted, but I could also attain the physique I always dreamed of. I cannot tell you how good it feels to be able to wake up in the morning, go for a run, work on my cardio, and then go to the gym, do some weights, but then also be able to crack out some calisthenic skills that makes people drop their jaws. There's no better feeling than that. Imagine being multifunctional to the point where you can literally do everything and anything that anyone else is doing but probably even better because you're combining everything all at once. And the best thing about this is that in any situation in your life, you will always be able to do a workout. If you stick to just the gym, when you go on holiday or 
when you don't have access to a gym at all, you're gonna suffer and you're not gonna be able to work out, you're gonna be frustrated, you're not gonna be able to work on exercises that you want to, and you're gonna get in a bad situation. But if you're working on weights, you're also working with your body weight, you're also able to not even need equipment, you're gonna be able to do anything at all times of your life, at any period, it makes sense. I felt the most healthy and most functional that I had ever been, and that is literally why I decided to teach people, just like me, how to get lean and muscular amidst a busy schedule with the hybrid method. Before one of my clients, Aaron, joined me, he couldn't even touch his toes. And that's the same for someone like Jamie as well, who's currently in my WhatsApp right now because we've become friends at this point, and he couldn't touch his toes either. He was lacking in so many areas in his overall functionality. His mobility was on the floor, non-existent. Both of these guys, now they can touch their toes. Now they can do skills they dreamed of. They can pull out handstands out of thin air. And that's only because they decided to incorporate all factors and all assets of fitness. And they were able to become the healthiest, most functional people that they could be. Specifically on my client Aaron, he lost a lot of weight using weights and also using a little bit of cardio. However, he actually lost muscle in the process and a lot of strength. He didn't feel great when he woke up in the morning. He didn't feel great throughout the day and he put on all that weight again. That's when he found me and the hybrid method and I got him back on track. What we did with Aaron was simple. We built him a mobility routine that he could stick to every single week. Bear in mind, Aaron is a busy guy. He works a nine to five and he often even works on weekends because he's a boxing promoter. So he often has to travel to various events and it takes up a lot of his time. So just incorporating a 10 minute mobility routine allowed him to work on his mobility to the point where his back no longer ached and he was able to bend over, touch his toes and feel flexible. This has really improved his quality of life and at this point he can't thank me enough and I'm expecting a good testimonial video too. And if you wanna see that, make sure to click on my Instagram where you can see the full transformation of Aaron along with his testimonial video. Not only did we develop Aaron a mobility routine, but we also gave him 20 to 40 minute workouts every single week. And this was only three times a week. That's it, that's all he needed to do. The rest of the week, he can do exactly what he wanted. We didn't even restrict his favorite foods. He was still able to eat exactly what he wanted but in moderation. So he could have a little chocolate bar in the evening. He could have some sweets or some ice cream in the evening if he wanted to. But as long as 90% of his diet throughout the day was good whole foods, then he'll be absolutely fine. And he was absolutely fine. He was able to lose nearly 40 pounds of fat. And this is ongoing, shred down, reveal his abs again, and also be the strongest and most lean he has ever been in his life. And he did it the right way. He was also able to learn skills along the way and he's still learning now. Aaron's been working with me for over six months now and he has not got any plans to stop. Look, this method isn't for everyone. If you like to spend three hours bodybuilding in the gym every day, then it's not for you. If you don't care about flexibility, mobility or endurance and you just want a great physique, don't bother. But if you're a busy nine to fiver or business owner who likes to travel but also wants to keep in peak optimal shape and condition, this is the one for you. Book in a call with me and I'll break down one-to-one -one exactly how you can get into the best shape of your life whilst only working out six hours a week. 